Hey what's going on guys, I'm back again with another video on how to host your Laravel app over infinity free hosting. Before we start our video, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon and select all so you can receive latest updates from us. I have this Laravel application. I want to host this application over this hosting provider. So for that, I'm going to use a free hosting service. I'm going to client area. I already have an account, so I will just log in. On this screen, you need to navigate to the account section. And right there, you need to create one account. I'm going to create this subdomain. Okay, so it says that this domain is available. So we can create this domain okay so we need to provide uh, some password here okay i'm providing this password you need to remember this password you might need uh, at the later stage we can copy this username into our notepad file so we can later use it for our login if I go to uh, my home page right there I have already created this one but now I just created this one so I will just go to manage section for this account this page says that I just need to wait for a few minutes because they are creating my account in the background I just refreshed my page and uh, the my account has been created now I will go to the control panel of this account I will just open in the new page okay and right there it says that I need to approve this account so I just approve this one just click approve our panel is ready now okay here I'm going to create a database I will name the database as toolbot create database our database has been created we can copy the details and you can use the cpanel password here now we need to upload our files uh, over this hosting using ftp if your ftp password is not working you can recover your password uh, using this method like log out this cpanel and there is an option for that you have lost your password just click here and you need to provide the username uh, for your account that you have uh, just created so I will just uh, simply click reset password okay they have sent a password to my email so I will just check there is no email in my inbox so I will just go to my spam folder we are just going to grab these FTP details from here. I'm just going to open FileZilla. Right here I will click new and I will name it as uh, infinity, infinity free and in the right tab I will provide the host name just copy from email and the port number is 21 and copy the username and change this uh, logon type to normal and provide the username and copy the password from your email as well just paste it here and just click connect hopefully it is going to connect always trust this certificate in future sessions okay Okay, now you will be navigated to this directory and you need to go to the htdocs folder because you cannot upload the files over there that will not be accessible and uh, inside this directory the htdocs directory uh, you need to create a new folder that is named as okay uh, currently i am in htdocs folder so right there I will upload some files 
if I go to my toolbot uh, Laravel app and right there I can see that there is a public folder I will open this public folder and I will upload all of these files into stdocs folder right I will upload all of them and then I will uh, open the Laravel folder okay I'm in the Laravel folder now here I will upload all of these files except these my git folder and the public directory because we have already uploaded the public directory I will just upload all of these files <coughs> once you are done with uploading you just need to go to your hosting and the control panel and then you can okay it says that we are not able to log in so I will go to back and I will try to log in with using my username and password okay and this is the password for this sorry I think password is same for everything uh, we can use this password okay login here you need to go to online file manager go to hgdocs and uh, inside this uh, just added this index.php file here you need to modify uh, replace these dots with your laravel folder that you just created just copy this and remove these dots press save And now we need to go to Laravel folder and inside that bootstrap cache and right here if there is any file that is named as config.php you need to delete that. I have already deleted this one so it's not here. Uh, you can delete. After that go to your Laravel folder and we can edit this in env.php. And from your XAMPP server, you just go to admin and export your SQL script. So my database is here, the name is toolbot. I will just click export. And I will simply export. Okay, my database has been exported. Now we need to upload our database. Uh, I tried to connect this uh, PHP management and this is not working. Click my SQL databases. And here we see that our database is here. Just click PHP admin, admin. And here just click import and select your SQL script. Click import. I am using this domain uh, because uh, the other domain I was taking so much time to upload the Laravel files so I have already uploaded my project here and I'm just going to show you okay our project is working now now you can access your application and log into your accounts if you face any problem please comment below and hit the like button for this video and subscribe my channel thank you bye bye